Okay, so look, before you comment about it, yes, I realize I've made a video that looks very similar to this one just a few months ago, what's gonna happen in Avengers 4, but that video was pretty exclusively just me talking about Secret Invasion and the scrolls and all that. And since then, new info has come out about this film, and I have more to say. Now, I really hate spoiling movies for myself, especially big event movies like this, but because of the type of videos I make and the type of news feeds I follow, I literally couldn't avoid this. These were set photos that came out, by the way. And look, they aren't really spoilers at all, but you know, if I had had the option of avoiding them, I would've. But now that I've seen them anyway, and I can't go back, I thought I might as well make the best of it and make a video on it, cause it is really interesting stuff and there is room to speculate. It doesn't like totally ruin the film or anything, it just shows something that, if it's what I think it is, could be pretty awesome. But hey, I want to say fair warning, if you want to know nothing about Infinity War or Avengers 4 or just the direction of the MCU's future, just click off now. Totally fine, I'm gonna try to really avoid this kind of stuff in the future. Okay, so, I still think there's a pretty good chance that the main plot of this film is gonna be about the scrolls and revealing who is a scroll and all that kind of stuff. That's still gonna be a big part of it, I'm sure. So everything I said in that last video about people dying and that kind of stuff, yeah, that's all probably still gonna happen. But today I want to talk about these set photos that have been leaking for several months now, and the latest batch were especially interesting. So what I find intriguing about these photos is that it shows all the Avengers in their costumes from Avengers 1. We've got Captain America's old, significantly less cool outfit, Loki in that weird Bane mask type thing, Thor with long hair, and Tony Stark in a Black Sabbath shirt. So initially, I thought this meant there was going to be a flashback to the Avengers here. And yeah, that would be kind of cool. But with these new photos, I think there's something else going on here. Again, potential spoilers, but this is just me speculating, alright? So like a lot of people, I think this is going to tie back into Avengers 3 by having the Avengers use the Time Stone to go back in time and change something in the Battle of New York from the first Avengers. What makes me think that it's not just a flashback is A, Tony Stark's in a S.H.I.E.L.D. uniform, which from memory, he was not sporting in that film, although I'm not sure why Cap and Thor are then wearing their costumes, and B, Ant-Man's there. He's just, he's, he's right there. So yeah, from memory, he also wasn't in the first Avengers. It makes sense, one, they've introduced that you can do that to some extent in this universe, though I didn't know you could go back, like, years, but hey, maybe Doctor Strange has gotten really good at it. Also two, the Russo said Avengers 4 wouldn't be a direct part two to Infinity War, but that they would connect, so this would be a good connection between them. Also three, you see the Avengers wearing these little things on their wrists, so maybe that's something to help them time travel? So if that is the case, that could be really awesome. I mean, it's kind of like messing with the timeline, Days of Future Past style, but this time, it's with actual films and events that we've seen, like the Battle for New York. Plus, these movies, most of the time, are pretty close to the real world in terms of the time between them, so it's been six years for both us and them since this happened, so the audience could feel the same kind of nostalgia or relive the memories in a similar way as the characters. You could redo that Battle of New York, but with a different outcome or with new skills and things these characters have learned, and also, you could have that amazing Avengers battle, but with new characters there, like Ant-Man, or Black Panther, or even Spider-Man. Having Spider-Man in the original Avengers would be pretty amazing to see. It could also be a chance to show the Avengers meeting Coulson again before the battle, which would be nice, since he's essentially what brought them together. Also, if this is actually time travel, maybe we can go to other points in the MCU, like the Sokovia battle, or the Fall of S.H.I.E.L.D., or the Stark Expo, or who knows. The possibilities are pretty endless. I mean, the way I'm describing it, it could sound a little fanfiction-y, but I think with the Russo brothers and Marvel's general track record, they would handle this well. Now, as far as the consequences of this for this universe, if this actually is what's happening, that could be complicated. We saw with X-Men how that erased nearly all the other films in the series, but doing that with the MCU, I don't know if I'd like that. I mean, erasing all of these films from continuity, I don't think Marvel would do that. In fact, I'm about 99% sure that Marvel wouldn't do that. So either this isn't time travel, or it is, and they'll just find a way where it doesn't actually stop any of the films following the Avengers from ever happening. Because if those films are just gone from the official continuity, I wouldn't be a fan of that. But if we're saying this is time travel back to points in the MCU, and it won't remove all of these films, I love this idea. The Avengers was really the main thing that got me into superhero movies and the MCU, and seeing it in the cinema when I was 10 years old was one of the coolest experiences I had ever had. So going back to that specific time, and seeing that battle from new perspectives with changes and new characters and whatnot, that just sounds like such a fun idea, and also a really interesting concept. It's also a testament to how big and amazing this universe has gotten at this point, where you can now time travel back in one of your films to a film that came out seven years ago, and people will understand it and enjoy it. I can't really think of another franchise that could do that, and I'm sorry for totally overusing this word, but it would just be so cool to see. This could also just be a tiny part of the film, completely, 
I mean, I don't know if I would want the entire movie to be set inside another movie. As far as why they would do this, maybe they defeat Thanos, but there's something really messed up left afterwards, like the entire planet is totally destroyed, so they have to go back and fix that. Maybe they stop Thanos back when he's making a deal with Loki, or use Loki as bait, or something like that, since that's where Thanos' desire to conquer kind of started for us as the viewers. Or maybe the scrolls do something terrible and they have to fix it. If it did change the universe in a big way, it could be a way of saying goodbye to the old cast and kicking off Phase 4. As far as if it could have anything to do with the X-Men and Fantastic Four coming over, I doubt it. Regardless, the idea of time traveling through these films and this universe that I've watched and enjoyed for years and years is an idea that I absolutely love. So yeah, it's either this amazing universe changing twist of time travel, or you know, it could just be that hologram tech that Tony Stark used in Civil War. I mean, that would be way less defining for this universe and could just be a fun little sequence. So you know, that's a very real possibility. So did I just waste my time on a theory that's not very likely to happen? Yeah, maybe. But hey, it's fun to speculate. So those were my thoughts on where the MCU might go in the fourth Avengers film. What do you think about all of this? Let me know all of your thoughts down below in the comments. While you're at it, be sure to like this video, check out my Instagram and Twitter at BHL underscore Hudson, check out this podcast about movies and TV and whatnot I do every other Friday with a friend of mine, it's called the Poorly Planned Podcast, and subscribe for more videos like the one you just watched. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.